Oh man, man, this YouTuber is probably about to have one of the biggest downfalls in YouTube history. So, Chucka Conroy. I'm gonna call him Chucka for this video just to keep it short and simple. I don't feel like saying his whole name. That's pretty long. So, Chucka, he has been canceled for YouTuber things. So, you can probably hear the guess what I'm about to say. I, it seems like a lot of big YouTubers just seems to be creeps for some odd reason. Like, I, I would never understand it, bro. Especially when you're a big YouTuber. It's like you have a large platform with a large audience, which enough will that would give you the attention that you want who are grown right but some reason they choose to chase after the women who don't want it or who aren't above age and it's just kind of like why are you that disgusting bro you know like it just doesn't make sense like how does your mind compute that to have that type of thinking bro especially when you have access into the stuff that you want i, I, I would never understand it anyway so just in case you don't know who chucka is chucka conroy is a huge youtuber he has like a million subscribers on youtube and um he's been doing youtube for 15 years he's a gamer youtuber and people love them you know you might have little brother or little sister who watched them growing up all through their youth so when they found out that this guy was a complete creep it's hurting a lot of his fans you know because they grew up watching this guy and they didn't admire him and he did create a lot of gamers out there especially for like nerd gaming as you can see from the channel he really plays pokemon at least lately back in the day it seemed like he played super mario so you know for the nerd fan base he's a huge inspiration for them obviously so you can imagine the disappointment they must have felt when they found out that chugga was a down bad person or at least that's what they thought because after the first allegations it got a lot worse i went to therapy i'm done with the seasonal lows homie said that i'm addicted to be so these allegations all start off with lady emily if you guys don't know who she is she's basically another youtuber and from what i heard also a script writer for like other youtube channels or whatever so the story goes is that lady emily was scrolling through reddit one day she was chilling probably laying in the bed or sitting in her chair and she was scrolling through reddit probably trying to find something funny and she came across something very interesting that bothered her that's what she said scrolling through reddit and seeing dozens of comments calling their popular youtuber who actually harassed you for several months last year a wholesome being with only green flags obviously she's being sarcastic just in case people don't know what she's doing so a lot of people are wondering who she's talking about who's this popular youtuber who's actually faster for several months well uh, you guys can guess from this video it was allegedly chugga conroy later on this day she decided to re quote tweet herself and say this f it just gonna get off my chest last year chugga conroy kept trying to get me to initiate erotic foot fetish role play with him while he also had a girlfriend this included sending shoes to my house under the guise of a gift only to constantly ask for feet pics afterwards then she shows a lot of screenshots as evidence that he was constantly in her DMs, being down bad. I mean, it was so bad at one point that he was literally having a conversation with himself in her DM for like a month, bro. Like, it was horrible. It, here's just some evidence. I can't read all of them off because we'll be here for like the next 30 minutes. Like, that's how much screenshots she provided. I guess if you care, you got to go to the YouTuber channel, Revec Tech USA. He read a lot of those screenshots off. But here is some evidence of what he was doing. So I guess things started off smoothly as you know they're having a regular conversation he eventually sent her some converses and she felt a little uncomfortable with that because i guess chugga has a fetish for like shoes and feet like he was like making it very sexual when it came to the shoes for some odd reason like i never heard of like a shoe fetish i have heard of feet fetishes obviously but a shoe fetish that's a little different anyway so eventually emily stops respond and this is where things take a whole left because apparently chugga kind of take a hint that emily does not want to talk to him like you know I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I do know when if you text somebody twice and they don't respond, that person does not want to talk. You know, it's pretty obvious, especially if they're active on other platforms. And you know, well, if she's posting this or doing this, she obviously had time to see my text and didn't want to respond. You know, that's just common sense. Or at least I hope it would be. But I will assume Chugga didn't take this hint because Emily left the conversation without actually specifying that Chugga was disturbing her. So he just kept DMing her for a long period of time even though that's no excuse at all he should have took the hint you tend to disappear i assume he's saying this because he realized emily is not responding to his messages 
He says, oh, I'm going to ping you once more. This is like a couple hours after he said that. Then the next day on September 17th, he says, well, hello, have a nice doctor's visit. Assuming he must have saw something on Twitter or something. Maybe she said that she was going to have a doctor visit. A couple hours later, he says, sorry to ping you again. I just wanted you to know. Then later on that night, he obviously responds to something else. Asking about the doctor's visit. Then he says later at night, damn, you're no fun. Kitty kidding, just a little concerned. And obviously, maybe there's salt in the wound that she's not responding to him, but he's trying to cope with it then a couple days later he says this hey sorry am i bugging you too much i'm just getting done with work and i saw i hadn't heard back bro you should have took the hint there she's not responding to you <laughs> you know you don't even have to ask these type of questions <laughs> you should already know this but he doesn't stop hey yo how's today feeling any better that is on the 19th then a couple days later again he says hey sorry i'm bugging you I understand you've got your own stuff going on i just wanted to wish you well tonight after seeing you talking about how much being sick set you back i really enjoyed talking to you i'll leave you be after this message in case you need to rest so you get the point this man was in her dms just very like when i say very i'm not saying that lightly he was very down bad in her dms and apparently he was doing this for several months just talking to himself in her dms hoping that she would respond and i just couldn't understand how chugga could get the hint that she does not want to conversate bro you know what makes you think for several months that she's just not seeing your dms and she's not purposely ignoring you? like i i just don't get that especially when she's being active on twitter and doing other things such as going to her job like chugga i don't even know what to say so after that came out i would say chugga was over with because a lot of his fans still kind of was on his side you know people didn't really like what she was doing because they didn't really understand what her end goal was i guess like are you trying to expose this guy like like what are you doing like yes is he a down bad person yeah but does he deserve to be canceled or nothing like that from what we just saw probably not like i don't think he deserves to have his youtube channel canceled and lose all his fans because he's a down bad human being when it comes to girls Girls, there's a lot of down bad people you know what i'm saying are we going to cancel all of the pokemon simps who are tier one and hope they can marry her one day no we're not going to do that so should we cancel chugga no but should we tell him stop doing that yes obviously he deserves to be criticized and told yo stop dming her because she doesn't deserve that especially when she's making it clear that she doesn't want to talk to you so what made chugga get totally canceled and had his career destroyed well apparently he's a serial dm it's either an asset or liability Ordered in your circle is crucial to your utility So after Lady Emily told her story There were multiple other girls that came out And told her story It was like another one, another one, another one Another one And it just made Chugga look like a complete weirdo In people's eyes Because not only are you doing this to one girl But you're doing this to multiple people That Chugga personally actually knows Like I don't know if he actually met them in real life But he most definitely been knowing some of these girls For like years at this point So I'm not too sure about the timeline here But I think it most definitely started off with A girl named Mace Anila I'm not too sure how to pronounce that you Guys don't know who she is Basically she's another YouTuber Not the biggest but she's pretty large she has about 130k looks like she posts gaming videos also and i heard she's been knowing chugger for like years now apparently i'm not too sure if she's the one but she came out with her own story saying that chugga was also doing this type of stuff to her i'm not gonna read a whole thread but here's what she just had to say after the number of people who inquired about chugga conroy over at magfest i feel i need to make this clear i have not associated with emily in for years nor are we friends and she basically goes on to explain that chugga has a mouth on him and who says very inappropriate things about girls that he shouldn't be and he was saying a lot about her you know she says i am uncomfortable with the way he talks to and about me in the past which has been a huge point of distress combined with the way he's spoken to about other particular women in private and public it is concerning and i do not want to associate with that type of behavior and i guess it's so bad that she actually doesn't even want to be in the same public space as chucka as she says for my own comfort and safety i will not be attending events that he will be unless it is a public space where i am able to avoid them large scale convention i have not seen them in years and i have no intention to start again now so chugga just has a mouthpiece you know he's just letting it fly singing like a flute saying the most wild shit and you know there's other girls coming out saying kind of the same thing i support 100 percent chugga has made me uncomfortable on many occasions i am not okay with him conducting me and will not be a part of any event he participated another girl says gonna echo this briefly emily and i were friends in the past and like 
like way longer than many would believe but many actions over the last few years have created quite a considerable wedge from my perspective he is not somebody i want to be associated with forward here's another girl please take some time to read miss say's post about emily and how we both do not wish to discuss him and she just makes it pretty clear that i have no association with him nor do i ever want to if you ask me about him being in a dnd game he is one person i can say with 100 percent certainty i would never want him to be at my table so behind the scenes it seems like it's way worse than what we know but ladies and gentlemen that's not even put the nail in the coffin because even though those things are bad i wouldn't say he deserves to get his like youtube channel deleted or him losing all his fans you know if you're a fan of chugga i'm not gonna say what you're weird you know but if you're still a fan of him after this allegation if it's true i will saving his day to cheat on your diet and lay up cleaning your covers enjoying the peace and quiet is giving him now take this with a grain of salt there are people saying this could be fake I have seen some things for like the dates in the line or something like that. So just take it this with a grain of salt. But apparently Chugga is having like very inappropriate conversations <laughs> with girls who aren't legal. You might as well go grab some popcorn because stuff is about to get crazy. So a Twitter account came out and said, um, I'm sharing the story of a close friend of mine to allow her to maintain a nominee. That's how you pronounce the word. She feel it's relevant to share given the dynamic started when she was 15 years old and he was 19 and it's a pretty long conversation i'm not gonna read all of it but here's just what the most concerning part of it is so the conversation goes chug is saying i have a dragon bruce island remix in there that's over 200 times also so after that the girl says i r-word my songs apparently so yeah now keep in mind there she is like 15 she said so i'm assuming she's saying like you know she just blasts her songs in her headphones or whatever anyways Tucker, i don't know maybe he just got a little crazy worked up after he seen that you know she did use a crazy word phrasing to say you know i love listening to music really loud in my head I, i'm assuming that's what she was saying in that context and he says i'm going to r-word you like that I, I don't know what he said that i don't know what the context he was saying that I, you know she was using the r word in a different context you know a lot of people do use the r word in contexts of that doesn't really make sense so i, I don't uh, yeah uh, yeah 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 so he continues says sorry cat guy quotes what and she says would it really be our word now our word is unwilling and she's playing along into it i guess being i don't know a 50 year old girl i guess sorry me being a r word and he continues says haha it's cool not as bad as the 12 and 14 year old girls who write me telling me they have massive crushes on so i guess he's intrigued from young girls having crushes on why i I don't know. And he says, which is hilarious because they don't even know what I look like. And she says, it's totally impossible to be in love without knowing what someone looks like. Spends way too much time on online sites. And she says, in question, Chucky says, yes. Just how old you think I am? Chucky says, 18. Which, you know, would make sense as she said the R word. And she says, I'm flattered, really. I'm only 15 turning 16 this year chucka says oh oh jesus ha 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 she says why does everyone always think significantly higher or lower chucka says whenever i meet people if they see what i look like they think i'm only 16 if they just hear my voice online they think i'm in my mid-20s chucka i'm really 19 works out in the middle i'm I'm not sure what people think of my appearance i've been said to look old and young and well you heard my voice and here where things start to get weird because before you could give Chuck the benefit of the doubt that he didn't know her age and he was just conversating and accidentally flirted with a girl who was not above age but as things continue on they seem to have this type of flirtatious role play conversation about boots which is like hey i guess to eat your own but i just don't understand the shoe fetish here like i don't know anyway so it starts off with you suck she says i love you 2d then i guess that's a smile you guys you guys remember i think this was like all the way back in the day i'm not too sure and he says i know you do the girl says f you you're sickly of small children i guess she's referring to herself don't deny it he says piff 
You're only a few years younger. Gay, creeping, being sarcastic, I guess. And she says, I know that, but it's still pedo. But it's okay. The law will never stop us. And I have no idea what's wrong with me. Like asleep, I guess. And Chugga says, sound like my life. And she starts singing a song. Baby, come back. You guys remember that song from Transformers. You can blame it all on me. I guess she hit the ooh woo. I'm not too sure what that is. And Chugga says she threw out your mop and broom. I don't know. Seems pretty kid. Seems pretty random, but I guess she gets it. And she says, I had one or two with, I had those. I don't know. Chugga says, just like how you had sneakers. And she says, but I don't. And you do. And I wear them when you're not looking. Smile. Chugga says, you mean like now? She says, but you're looking. So, no. And Chugga says, notice a bulge in your boots. Hey, wait. Pushes you down and snatches off your boots. You wear my sneakers inside your boots. Chugga says, you're cheating. And she dot, dot, dot. Then says, great, great. Blows the grape whistle. Chugga says, gaw. Cramps my feet into your boots since I have no other shoes to run. Run. And she says, boot fetish. Chases after your shoes. When I catch you, jumps on. Chugga says, gaw. Pin, please have mercy. She says, ha ha. You got pinned by a girl. Has no idea what to do on top. Gnomes. Chugga apparently got a little energized. And he says, on top? And she says, yes, I am on top. Which means you're bottom. Chugga says, guess it's not pedo if you're the one doing the graping. She says, grape, smile. And to law, it is law, smile. And it is grape smile i think chugga says you're not gonna grape your boots off me are you close mouth and she says what a lovely idea grapes the boot off however that works chugga says no give me back my shoes and she says they're all mine baha and so are you with a question straight face i guess like should i really be saying this inserts various inappropriate stuff here chugga says you sure you love graping me with the dot 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 that's kind of accent should really be doing this and she says you sure love being graped but that means i'm willing and willing to grape is X. So now it's pedo. Chugga says, my feet are cold. Can I please have my shoes back? She says, fine. Why is the hand shoes back? Reluctant. And he says, yay. Puts them back on my feet. So you can see he had a very inappropriate conversation with a 15 year old when he was 19. Chugga's just weird, bro. You know, from the boot fetish to him, down bad DM woman to him having role play conversations with girls from above age inappropriately. Like, he's just weird, bro. And like, what's up with the shoe fetish? Like, it's not even feet. I can understand feet feet because it's part of the physical human body but a shoe that's materialistic and has no purpose but to protect your feet it's kind of weird like I, I would never understand that and you know I don't condone this type of stuff unless you really deserve it you know has he done a lot of bad yeah but does he deserve to be pushed to the point where he's trying to off himself allegedly I don't think so you know I don't think Chucka deserves to like you know off himself or nothing like that as maybe some people feel like he needs to apparently try to do that and now he's in a psych word i'm not too sure that's those are just allegations so don't take my word on it he did also come out with the apology when emily came out with her allegations and he said hey i want to say i'm sorry to emily and you our community and i apologize for my mistake for overstepping the boundaries are of our friendship and i causing her to hurt in the process this will not happen again i'd rather have time to collect my thoughts and react immediately and act that you do not contact my friends about this i will talk more about it this in a few days also made a long facebook post basically kind of saying the same thing so where does tucker go here from now i think it's safe to say that his reputation is most definitely destroyed like i don't think there's no coming back from this you know you basically harassed the girl for several months also been exposed for harassing other of your friends which shows that you're a repeat offender when it comes to this type of stuff and now which might be the nail in the coffin you you essentially had a inappropriate role play conversation with their underage girl i think all that it's just not going to be able to save you like i don't think he can come out with nothing unless proven like these are all lies these were fake screenshots which you already meant to guilt and telling us that yeah these are all true i did this i'm sorry you know i can't take it back but i can try to move forward and become a better person in the future so i don't know what y'all think if you made this far in the video thank you i appreciate it this is a long video so thank you with that being said have a beautiful day. I'm logging out. With no camera, she pulling in a rover. With her hair so curly, I like she said. What you know about us? I got what you need. Woke up in the store and get what you want. You get what you please. We about to get it.